The SMP crisis continues to escalate around Patrick Grady's misconduct as we've just found out that his victim has been intimidated and threatened by the top of Nicola Sturgeon's party. Yes, cover-up after cover-up, intimidation after intimidation. This is Nicola Sturgeon's Scottish National Party. Every single time there's some sort of scandal, much more comes out, yet the mainstream media, quiet. Nothing happens. Because on the one hand, they say that, well, they don't really directly say, but they basically pretend that, well, it's Scotland. Nobody cares what's happening in Scotland. People in the rest of the UK will probably not be interested. Really, Nicola Sturgeon's SMP, the same organization and the mob rule mentality that they have, that they want to completely destroy the country and destroy already Scotland, do you not think that's in the public interest for us to know what's going on? Patrick Grady on the left, who's a, a bit, bit in trouble because obviously a lot of misbehavior and harassment, uh, one of his victims, well, his victim, um, who's come out to complain about this issue, we found out that he's been threatened by the top of the party. So he was threatened with uh, misconduct action and having his work email account locked after he sent an email to MPs and other staff criticizing the SMP response to the scandal. So Patrick Grady does misconduct, then they threaten his victim with misconduct action. This is literally the state of our politics. We are talking about Boris Johnson's resignation today. And I'm going to go to Westminster. I'm going to be around, obviously, the area. Yet, there are other issues right now in the news. Yet, no one's talking about this. And this is it's going to escalate even more. And if we don't do anything about this, this culture, this toxic culture, is going to spread like a virus. And it already has, to be fair. Uh, then this man, who is now 25, on sick leave, is uh, criticized publicly. Uh, well, it's uh, the public comments on uh, uh, by uh, Ian Blackford. Uh, the leader of SNP in Westminster, who came out to defend Patrick Grady. And uh, the victim came out and said, well, this is just disgusting. You know, why, that the people at the top of the leadership of the SNP are supporting Patrick Grady. Uh, the guy is now known to misbehave, let's just say, and he's a disgusting animal. So uh, his parliament, his UK parliament work email account was locked. He received an email uh, from uh, the group uh, deputy leader of SMP, uh, Kristen Oswald, a uh, disciplinary action against him. Uh, this is a victim we're talking about, by the way. <laughs> this is how they deal with their victims. And after threats of misconduct action, if the young staffer does not desist, Ms. Uh, Ms. Oswald said that she was concerned about his well-being. So it's weird. They say, well, are we doing it because we care about you? We're going to destroy your life to protect you from yourself. I don't think this is just how we should conduct uh, well, do any, well, operate any sort of political uh, issue that we have in this country. The system is broken and is run by clowns, the corrupt clowns. The SNP are a perfect example of this. Now, the good news is that she's not, she doesn't have that much time left, Nicola Sturgeon, because she's losing all her last attempts and chances. Yesterday, we found out that her referendum, second referendum plans, are going to be slightly ruined because the Westminster government have uh, rejected the, the, the idea. That, that was expected. But his, um, the lawyers and the legal professionals of the Scottish government have actually advised Nicola Sturgeon that that other attempt to get the Supreme Court to get permission through the back door that is also not legal. So she can't have her rogue uh, Scottish referendum. It's not going to be viable. It's not going to be legal and constitutional. And she's going to go sit in the corner and cry. And this is why there are civil linings everywhere. So <laughs> Nicholas Surgeon is not happy. Keir Starmer might, get, might receive a fine by Durham Police tomorrow. Boris Johnson is going to the Tories have a chance to refresh and reform the party. Yeah, the tide is turning, guys. Yeah, and let's be optimistic. Let's be happy. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Share the video. We're going to come back and uh, we're going to give you all the updates because what's going on in the Westminster bubble. Thanks again for watching. I'm my 2 and we are the media.